How y'all doing? It's Whitey Jenkins, and this here is the Whitey Jenkins Show. We're back for another episode. We took a took a week off for Thanksgiving and all that good stuff, and now we're back, ready to get at it again. And uh, we got us a guest now. Much like when we had old Matt Wallace on here last time, the son of a bitch ain't got no video, but he's got his picture up there, and there he is, right there. Is he rotten? How you doing, is he? I'm good, man. How are you? Well, I'm doing pretty damn good, man. I went down uh, went down there this weekend. Oh, Jackson took me to Aniston to the comedy club. Hell, even some bitches let me get up on stage, and now they done got me booked. <laughs> You're booked? Yeah, check this out. Hold on. Smokey. Smokey, I know you're listening. Whoa, not get off the screen, damn it. What are you doing? <laughs> Put that thing up you made. Look at there. Friday, December the 17th. And Friday, December 31st, otherwise known as New Year's F and Eve, you can see Whitey Jenkins doing stand-up comedy at the Happy Hour Comedy Club in Anniston, Alabama. There's the address right there on stage, as seen on EPW television every Sunday morning, or <clears throat> or most Sunday mornings, not every Sunday morning, but you know what I'm talking about. You're what do you think about now. that, Izzy? You're a big star now, man. Damn right. Making it happen, boy. You're gonna have to, I hear uh, I hear EPW's ratings is through the roof since his, since uh Whitey Jenkins has been coming on there doing the commentary. Especially this last Sunday, I was on there the whole dad gum show, boy. I bet it was uh I bet WTVA was getting all kinds of phone calls and letters about how great it was. I bet they were. Damn right. Well, how you been, man? Man, I'm 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 making it. I'm making it. I'm uh, I'm 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 doing very very well, very well. Well, I mean, I know you uh, you still at odds with the Bone Crusher and uh, Daniel Nova. Y'all got y'all stuff going on over there. I mean, how's that treating you? Like a trip to the dentist. <laughs> I mean, like a trip to the dentist. I mean, hell, you. I mean, you and Bone Crusher. I mean, it's like the modern day Jerry Lawler and Bill Dundee. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, I know y'all were getting along there for a little while, and you know, you was a good guy. And, but I mean, y'all just. I mean, I reckon y'all just gonna be fighting till till one of y'all ain't here no more, right? I mean, that's just y'all are just like oil and water. It's gonna be him. He's a lot older than I am. It, well, it, I mean, it's no. time to put the horse down, honestly. It's time to just put the horse down in this pasture. Well, I mean, I wasn't going to be rude and point out that he was uh, a couple years older than you, but I mean, I guess to your point, I mean, I guess uh, if if that's if we're going on age, I guess maybe it's more his time than yours. But I mean, he's a he's a pretty dangerous feller, you know. I mean, he ain't no telling what he's liable to do to try to run you out of here, is he? He's not going to run me out. He's not been able to run me out for the last 20 years, so he's not going to start tonight or tomorrow or Saturday. And I'm going to slap his son around some Saturday, so I hope you're – I wish you'd come in for that. Well, you know, I was I was going to, but uh, I, have, uh, I have prior uh, obligations. Uh, go, I got to hang out with the old lady, you know what I mean? So, uh, But I'm going to be down there the 18th. And then I'll be back down there the first as well. Uh -oh. But uh, while we're talking about it, let's go ahead right here, put up on the screen, boom. Headlocks for Toys, Toy Drive, this Saturday night, December the 11th, right there at the EPW Arena in Boomville. Now tell us, tell us what that means, Izzy, about Headlocks for Toys and what that means for the fans. That means if some, if some of you fans want to bring a toy, which – I, I would really appreciate it, and I'm sure all the kids would. Um, you guys bring a toy, and the next week you get a discounted ticket. They'll give you a, I think it's a voucher for a discounted ticket the next week for the 18th show. So uh, the admission price is still eight dollars and ten dollars, but we're we're gonna take all that and go buy toys with it. So I mean, it's it's a good cause. Um, it, it's 
it's for all the unfortunate children, all, all the less fortunate children in Prentice County. Yeah, them unfortunate children. They, uh, <laughs> it is unfortunate that they need they need them some toys. So it is. Hey, all kidding aside, it's it's a very good thing the EPW is doing. I'm proud y'all are doing it. And look at it this way: not only if you bring a toy, are you helping out the unfortunate children around there, but you'll get a voucher to get a discount to come on the 18th when you be able to see Whitey Jenkins and Shane Mako live oh, yeah. in person right there in the EPW's arena. What more could you ask for, really? I mean. I agree. I agree 100%. You got you to gotta discount it for these rednecks, though. I mean, honestly. I mean, you know, yeah, especially coming up around Christmas time because, you know, they got to start making some choices, you know, or <laughs> Are we gonna are we gonna keep the lights on and and you know buy buy grandma a new moo moo or are we gonna come down there and watch Izzy Rotten whoop up on Daniel Nova and uh, you know and I don't expect him to be happy about that because you know it seemed like I wasn't there but I seen the video a couple different times it seemed like people got a little upset the night you turned on them boys. I just, oh yeah! The way it come across on video. Now was I misinterpreting that, or were them people kind of pissed off? They were upset. They were crying. They were people. No, please don't leave. Please don't leave. <laughs> Especially when my voice cracked, they were like, "Oh, he's gonna cry. Oh no!" And then all of a sudden, I should have. I should have won an Oscar for that. You, all it. you needed was one of them salmon covered suits and you'd outdone Mark Henry for the greatest non retirement speech in history. Exactly. But Mark I tell Henry. you what, you did. You deserved an, an Oscar or an Emmy or whatever whatever the little statue is you get for acting good because I tell you, I mean, I saw it and I was sitting there watching I was like Oh, daggum, Izzy's going to retire. I didn't even know. I ain't talked to him in a minute. And then next thing I know, you're whooping, whooping up on him. And I was like, ah, dang, you got him again. Them dumb some bitches. <laughs> Good stuff. Now, people people been sending in some questions and whatnots. Oh, and uh, they're going to be upset if I don't ask this. So I told them I would. I told them I didn't know if you'd answer it, but I told them I'd ask. So here okay. we go. What has happened to Super Ed? I know he ain't special no more, allegedly. Uh, uh, but he was on the television uh, pretty regularly there, and then now he's not, and we just kind of figuring out what's going on with him. Honestly, I really don't know. Okay, so I uh, Super Ed went to Championship Wrestling from Memphis, uh, appeared on a couple shows and then uh, they were trying to dwindle down their locker room and said, we're going to rotate talent. And the next thing I knew is <laughs> here's, you, just, here's you ain't made it back in the rotation is what you're saying. <laughs> I, I didn't a, make it back in the rotation. It's a big, big old merry-go-round. You just, you just ain't got back around there yet. That's all it is. That's that's what it is. That's what it is. And that, you know, I'm not the only one. There's there's a couple other. Uh, you know, it's 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 okay. You know, well, I ain't got my invitation yet to come on there. I mean, you know, it, I figured once they heard about how the the ratings for EPW just exploded when Whitey Jenkins showed up, that you know, pretty soon they would rather have Whitey Jenkins on Memphis wrestling from Memphis or whatever it's called. More so than a fake Tiger King or something like you know something like that, but apparently you know they'd rather have a, a bootleg Joey Roddick or whatever than have Whitey Jenkins on there. And I mean that's you know that's up to them, but I think I'd pull a lot better ratings. I got a lot of fans in Memphis, Tennessee, as you well know. Do you? Yeah. I Hell know. yeah. They love Whitey in Memphis, Tennessee. I hate. Man, I used to hang out on Bill Street all the time until I get that. Best of luck with your future endeavors. I'll always be there. There you go. I, I ain't got that yet, so we'll. I'm Long still. You don't get that Laurinaitis text message. <laughs> that's Whoever does the Laurinaitis roll up there, I don't know. Maybe it's. I don't know if that's Neil Taylor or Maria or who does that. But as long as you ain't got that, you're still in the mix. You know what I mean? Still in the mix. 
But I mean, I could come up there and be the second coming of Lance Russell. You know, I mean, you I, I know man. Dustin don't want anybody taking his spot, and that's probably why he don't want because he don't want me to come snatch him out from behind the table like I do Gross Joey down there at APW Arena. So that's probably why they ain't let me in the building because I've come up there a few times, as you well know. But every time, you know, they're like, "Oh, why do you ain't allowed to come in here drunk? I mean, you ain't allowed to come in here." And you ain't booked, and you can't buy a ticket. And they don't want me in there, I guess, because they don't want me to get in there and, you know, take over commentary. Because <laughs> then I'd, I'd steal the ratings from him, and then his old lady would probably want to come home with me, too, and it'd just be a whole bunch of problems. You know what I mean? You give her the five star. <laughs> It'd be a ten so, star rating. Uh, that's damn right. <laughs> All right. Well, you answered that. That's good. That's good. Yeah. So. What do you see in the future? Because, I mean, like I say, we know this Saturday you're going to whoop up on Daniel Nova, and at some point you're going to finally get your hands on Bone Crusher and put him down like an old yeller. I mean, that's just inevitable. But what do you see going into 2022? What does Izzy Rotten want to accomplish moving forward, moving past Bone Crusher and Bone Crusher Jr. in the future for EPW? Man, honestly, I uh, I think maybe 2022 may be the last hurrah for me. I'm not really for sure. I uh, I mean, I still love the the wrestling business, but it's just uh, I'd rather have some hands backstage uh, with uh, producing and things like that more than I would being out there in the ring. There's there's guys now that are in EPW. EPW is not the same EPW it was five years ago. It's not the same it was three years ago. It's totally different. There's a youth movement, and honestly, some of us guys just need to step back like me, and I mean, it's just let the young guys take a hold of it, you know? I get it, and yeah, definitely. Um I mean, everything from the wrestlers, just, you know, I mean, the building, to look at the building, right. all that. I mean, it's 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 completely, you know, new and, and evolved EPW. And you, I mean, and they've always, I mean, they've always drawn, but I mean, man, y'all draw some, you know, consistent crowds. And man, when you, you, you bring these names in there, you I mean, hell, you can't pack everybody in there that shows up to, to the show. So, I mean... Y'all have right. done a hell of a job, um, and that's not that's not a knock on our, our our older guys and stuff like that. I mean, no, but you know, it, it it it's it's time to let these guys shine, and a lot of us have. I mean, we've taken a back seat and letting some of these guys, you know, go out there and shine. But I mean, it's it, it's time to build around them. No, I get. I mean, I get what you're saying, but but there's a. Um... There's an art to that where you have to keep the people that everybody knows and is familiar with around as you ease the younger people in and, and start getting them over. And I think y'all, have, I think y'all have done a good job with that so far, you know, because yeah. that's kind of if you if you ask me, I mean that's what killed Memphis before. I mean I know they they're bringing it back and they're doing all they can, but they never, you know, the the older guys never really stepped aside, or they certainly never, you know, put over the young guys. You know, they just kept on keeping on, keeping on. You know, and right. that's why you never really had. You had, a, I mean, you can name on probably one hand, yeah, definitely, definitely on two hands, how many stars were made in Memphis in the, you know the last fifteen, twenty years. Right, and that's crazy. So. I mean, I think you couldn't just everybody just up and go at once, but I think it's y'all have done a good job bringing in these young guys and helping get them over. I mean, you know, whether uh, whether people like him or not, you know, Justin Klein and his guys have done a good job. And I don't usually put him over. I give him a lot of crap online, obviously. But, you know, they've done a good job getting, you know, getting in there and, and people hate their damn guts and they pay money to come see them get whooped. Uh, and, uh you know, guys like K-Swiss and all of them, you know, the hot shots and all them guys. And, then, you know, Trace Hunt just kind of came out of nowhere and has become a big, you know, big star for EPW. So, uh, 
I, I'm excited about EPW's future. I didn't know. I thought you. If I heard your voice break, I was gonna say, "Some bitch, he's doing another. He's doing another retirement speech. He's fixing to turn <laughs> on me through the damn computer." No, no, I. Uh, <clears throat> no, I, I, I agree. I, you know, we're we're and we're growing each and every week. I've got uh, David Richards is coming in Christmas night, and he has started sending some of his. Uh, training school guys to us for nice. for work. So, you know, we're going to trade out a couple guys there and he's going to bring in some more guys, you know, when they he feels that they can they're ready, he's going to send them to us. So, uh, I think I think it'll be good. I still say somewhere somehow one of these days I want to see Davy Richards and Earl Scott Morgan. I, we're going to have to make that happen. So, we can we can maybe make that happen. Good deal. Because he's a tough little bastard. You've seen him in there. I mean, he's a hard-hitting son of a gun. Yeah. David Richards is a hard-hitting son of a gun. I, I, I know it. That's <laughs> what I mean. They're going to beat the hell out of each other. Boy, it'll be something else. For sure. Most definitely. So that's, that's another thing, too. You know, we talked about the toy drive uh, coming up on the 11th, and then you got another show the 18th. But... Something that EPW has been known for now for years is that big Christmas show. Y'all do a show on Christmas night every year. It's usually, you know, one of the most, uh, one of the biggest shows, but I mean, one of the most attended shows because I mean, right. let's all I mean, face it. We all what, love Christmas. We all it? love our family and all that, but God dang, man, once the presents are open and you done eat, ain't nothing else open, man. You just sitting there at the house with nothing to do. You ready to go watch some wrestling? The only so. thing, the only the only thing open is wrestling in the movie theater, and there's nothing out playing that's worth seeing. So, just come on out to EPW Christmas night, see uh, Davy Richards, hang around. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a heck of a night. That's uh that's that's gonna be a that's gonna be a heck of a show. I'm mean, I'm pretty excited about that. I hate I can't uh hate I can't make it over there for that, but you know. Uh, Maybe next Christmas we'll see. But, you playing uh, Santa for somebody? Well, you know Santa Whitey has to make his way around the trailer park and uh, help out. You know the less fortunate cheerings. You know, I mean, y'all are doing <laughs> y'all's toy drive, and I'm a uh, I'm planning on you know raiding the Wal. I mean, uh, buying some stuff at the Walmart, you know, and carry it around the trailer park and uh, help out some of them cheerings that their parents can't afford to buy nothing or they spend all their money on. Other things, you know, you know, I, I mean, you know, they ain't really talking yeah, about that here on there, but you know, Whitey likes to, you know, I may play a bad guy on TV, but I, you know, I try to balance it out, you know, because I don't, I don't want to go to hell or nothing, so you know, got to do something good to balance that shit out, you know. Yep. I'm still kind of thrown with the not being on the video, just having that picture up there. Like I said, it's like when Mac Wallace was on here. I don't know if you saw that, but there's a dude on here. He's like 108, and he I had have, a flip phone. And he couldn't he couldn't use the video, so he had to put a picture up there too. I, I like I like my picture. Uh, that uh, that that's my call me picture. There you go. I got you. So, uh, what else you want to talk about, Izzy? Well, uh, I don't know, man. Just uh, pick something. Pick something. Pick something. God, damn, you act like I'm the host or something. Like you I'm are. the one supposed to lead this shit. I don't... You, you, you called me. No, actually, that ain't how this works. You're <laughs> kayfabing everybody, but I mean, I mean, this is the time of day when the pills start kicking. I mean, I mean not. I, I didn't mean to say that, but uh, how many of you had to drink today? Oh, I stopped counting about three thirty. Uh, I've had a few, you know, and a guy like it. me, all them years I wrestled and I did all them death matches and stuff. I have to take a few pain medicines to uh, get through the day. Uh, of course, they're all prescribed to somebody, um, not necessarily me, but you know, prescribed to someone somewhere. To someone I somewhere. That's right. So. Well, what's your favorite pain pill of choice? If you want me to just ask questions, I'll just... <laughs> we we uh we can't comment on that. There we go. <laughs> oh, now now you don't. You tell me to ask questions. Now you don't answer. Now you clam it uh, up all of a sudden. <laughs> we 
we're not going to discuss my habits. <laughs> okay. That's probably for the best, if I'm being honest. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> is there anybody uh, Is there anybody on the EPW roster you'd like to have a match with before you do decide to hang them up? Logan Stunt. Logan Stunt. Yep. I want to throw him around like I did his little brother. You know, I, I I think, you know, he 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 wants to be this martial arts, big martial arts, kick your face in. But uh, I don't think he can do that to me. I want I to go. If he can do I that want, to anybody over the age of eight. I want to go toe to toe with that kid. I want to see what he's got. I want to see what he's got. Wait a I minute! I didn't, I didn't. I didn't realize we just speaking to Mac Wallace a minute ago. He said uh, he wants me to ask you if, if you still got that belt he loaned you. <laughs> yes, tell him. Tell him, yeah. <laughs> Mac, he still got it. Don't worry; it's in safe, safe hands. Yep. I still he got says it. he'll wrestle you. So. Yeah. There's that. I, I tell him if he can change his depends, I'll wrestle him. <laughs> you'll put that belt on the line won't you because i'm sure i'll you know. put that belt on the line there you go so you never know coming up in 2022 if mac lives past new year's eve hey man then, uh, weren't you booked on this big david talk show what happened i wasn't ever booked on it you was uh, that show you was never booked happened. on that thing what happened what well, that's some bitch right up till the day of uh, was on facebook Sharing that shit and lying and talking about how it's going to be a show. Now he ain't got nothing to say. I, I called him out today and seen. tagged him in it. Ain't said a word. Yep. Well, I, I think everybody that is on that David Cox page should delete it because it's, it's hurting the business, honestly. It, it hurts. What happens if EPW wants to run in Pontotoc? What happens if we want to go over there one Friday night and run Pontotoc? Now we've got to deal with, well, there was a show over here, and they no, they, they canceled it. They, they ain't they getting me again. I ain't going down there for nothing right. again. Right, exactly. And, I mean, and, and Kenny Bain's running this show. I, I shouldn't even get it. I'm not. Is that a real show? Okay, let's just talk about that real quick. We got a few minutes. I is think, that or is that not a real show? I, I don't know. I think it is, but. If anybody knows Kenny, be ready. I mean, it is Christmas. They're running against us, but. Uh, well, I, I mean, like last, was it last year or the year before he had a big Christmas show booked and he had, he had a day, he was advertised a battle roll where you had to pay $10 to enter the battle roll as a wrestler. I that mean, that was a real like thing that he did. That's the Whitey Jenkins shit right I was, there. I was pissed off. Like, don't go ripping off my stuff, big boy. <laughs> I was doing that a long time ago, back when you were still rolling around in ice cream battle royals. I was having folks pay me $10 to get in battle royals. So don't even go there. But I remember he, he had that advertised either last year or year before. It never happened. And then I swear I'm not – people tell me that I was extra drunk that day, but I swear for Lord – Two, three, four years ago, he advertised a show intertwined with his alleged funeral. It was going to be like a wrestling show immediately followed by his funeral because he was telling everybody he was about to die. Is that wow. Wasn't that a thing or am I making that up? No, I used were, to have a poster right. saved on a computer somewhere. No, I no, mean, that's a good way right. to get out of booking. I mean, you got to pay in folks because, I mean... I start to rip that off. I go, why did Jenkins Memorial show, you know? And and then when people come look and get paid, like, oh, he's, man, he died. He, his funeral's going on across the street. And then once they all get across the street, lock the damn door, head out the back, man. Right. I mean, that's, yeah. I mean, that's, that's. I mean, don't I mean, get me wrong. I ain't knocking the guy. Made him know, the we've wall, all man. been there. We've all done some shady shows we ain't proud of. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah, but still. <laughs> But <laughs> I, I mean, I I love Brent, sponsor, but I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> Look at Mike Wallace. Day, and that's why that I ride with you. Right you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
anyway, a sponsor right behind your huddle house. Old Huddle House. You know how hard it was to get them to be a sponsor because of all the bad publicity they got because of – never mind. Anyway, we ain't going to go there. But, I, you know, that David Cox thing, I've been telling people for a while, just delete the son bitch, don't acknowledge him, don't put it over because every time somebody tags him and puts it over, you're just – you're helping him. And, yep. man, he was putting them shows on, the, on those, you know, groups – and people yep. were asking, where can I get tickets? And hell, the son bitch come back. Oh, you can get them at Seafood Junction. I'm like, what are these people going to think when they go to Seafood Junction and then folks don't know what the hell they're talking about? You know, yep. I mean, I, and I know it's somebody in the business. And that's what makes me mad. If it was just some fan screwing with everybody, it'd be right. aggravating. It'd be like, well, you know, whatever. But it's right. somebody in the business. And that's what's shitty. Yep. I agree. I agree. And it, it, it just hurts the business. That's all it does. But they don't care. No. They I obviously mean, don't care. They're, they're, all they do is wrestle for the church promotion, and that's it. <laughs> Pray, praise the Lord. <laughs> praise the Lord. Bless David Cox and his fake yep. Facebook. <laughs> but I mean, uh, Gene Jackson told me that Axeman... Uh, called him up all heated, saying that people were telling him that Gene Jackson was the one doing the David Cox thing. Just because Gene Jackson interviewed that some bitch on YouTube nine years ago, it means every time David Cox's name comes up, it's got to be something to do with him. He was pretty right. hot about it, you know. Honestly, but I, I he, thought he I, I thought it was a uh, old oh, Dustin Burcham. And yeah, everybody said I, I've got a I got a person that still says that he'll he'll put his hand on the Bible, he, he believes it's Dustin Burcham. I asked him point blank. He says it wasn't him, so I mean, I, I ain't got a reason not to believe him, but, you know. Right. Hopefully know, it's man. over with now. I mean, I, I but I'm guessing if I know how these folks operate, he's going to be quiet for a little while until everybody kind of forgets, and then he'll kick up again with another show. Yep. Just never acknowledge the other one didn't happen, and there will be. But it's like you say, if everybody will just delete him, Ignore him. Yep. Maybe he would have no choice but to go away. Yep. But, I mean, hey, I, I'm all about having fun, you know, but that just ain't doing nobody no good. No, absolutely not. So before we get out of here, let's talk about you can go right there to the EPW YouTube channel, subscribe. You can see videos from the EPW live events. You can see episodes of the EPW wrestling show. If you don't live anywhere where you can get WTVA, all of the, the shows pop up there every Sunday and all the past episodes are there. So go there and subscribe. You can go to EPWWrestlingMS.com. You can buy get discounted tickets there. You can get shirts and hats and drawers and any kind of EPW stuff you'd ever want to think of. Ain't that right? Yep. EPW socks. Hats. EPW socks. Yep. So, I mean, who the hell wouldn't want some APW socks? I mean, let's be honest. I mean, you could be pretty pretty impressive rocking some APW socks around. And again, come out this Saturday night for the toy drive. Bring a toy. You'd be helping out the cheering, and you get a discount on the ticket for the 18th when Whitey Jenkins and Shane Mako is going to be there. That's so. right. And don't forget. <laughs> Boom. Friday, December the 17th, you can come to Happy Hour Comedy Club in Anniston, Alabama, 1021 U.S. Highway 431 North. You can come on the 17th, the night before I'm going to be at EPW's. Or, better yet, come back again on the 31st, New Year's Eve with Whitey Jenkins. What could be more fun than that, Izzy? Hell, you need to bring your ass over. <laughs> nope. Come on. <laughs> oh. no, nope. Well, I got a... Uh... I got New Year's at uh, the FedEx Forum. Oh, I forgot you're the big baller. You you up there in the in the fancy dancy suite up there at the forum yep. every time. Mike Wallace yep. and he bought some APW underwear, but you can't see the logo anymore. Dad gun, man. Nasty. Oh shitty britches. Oh, oh my bless his heart. He ain't going to be with us a lot longer, so we just have to kind of tolerate God, him. You know? God, we hope not. <laughs> well, Izzy, we appreciate you being on the show, man. And uh, like I say, I'll be coming over 
around the 18th, I'm going to bring old Shane Mako with me, and, you know, we're going we gonna to cause a disturbance, I'm quite sure. There you go. And I'm going to tell you something else. If old Justin J.B. Klein keeps getting cross with me on Facebook, me and him might have to go around one of these points, too, because he said some have to. inflammatory stuff towards me the other day, and I ain't like it none. I think you two should do a drinking contest. He don't want none of that, I promise you. I, I'm sure he drinks damn, if he can find some Zima or some sissified, what's, what, what, what is it, the, the preppy boys with the sweaters around their neck like him drink these days? White Claw? Is that what he drinks, the White Claw? White we don't, Claw. We don't allow no White Claw in the drinking contest, son. You look right there behind me, Miller High Life. That's how you do it. That's right. The champagne, the champagne of, beers. of beers. Damn right, boy. That's how we do it up in here. All right, Izzy, you take care of yourself. We're going to get on out of here right now. And y'all get down there this Saturday night, December the 11th, for EPW. Toys. Headlocks for headlocks for damn. Man, I'm, we got to wrap this up. <laughs> headlocks for toys. Headlocks for damn toys. There you go. Get out there and help somebody out. We appreciate it. Smokey, hit the button, man. <laughs> Smokey, hit the button. Smokey, you're making me look like an idiot. Come on. Man.